very good question was posted by one of the viewers and the question essentially was okay well you showed us how to set up an email template in Outlook uh, but exactly how do we create an email template in the first place and th that's a really good question because it opens up the door to a few other uh, things which would actually give you guys a lot more capabilities as far as your own designing uh, creating your own content is concerned there's a couple of different things that go into creating an email template and if you guys are already aware of some uh, tools such as Photoshop uh, Adobe Suite which uh, comprises of a lot of amazing uh, development tools such as fireworks um, Dreamweaver which is essentially used for making websites and so forth uh, then that's great but if you're not we will not go into the details in this tutorial I'm just going to go over explaining the process here and then uh, maybe if uh, the users are interested in I'm going to make some more videos on exactly how to use those individual tools to do that uh, but this tutorial is primarily going to be about what is the process of creating your own uh, email templates and what shortcuts can we use in order to circumvent the long process of doing every little thing on your own uh, the goal here is to not rely on people to do little things for you and charge you a whole lot of money to do it and that's what we're aiming for so let's start Primarily, we're going to go through this step by step, and I don't want this to become too complicated uh, for anyone to understand. So I'm just going to show you guys the process of how to create your own email template if you have all the different tools. How to use the different tools is a more detailed subject, and I can probably go over that in more tutorials down the road if you guys need me to go into those. But for now, what I'm going to do is uh, simply go on the process on if you wanted to create a pr uh, your own email template and you wanted to do it today if you have all the necessary tools you need what would be involved in getting it done so a start the first part of this step is going to be getting the email template when I say email template it's because well we're just getting a template and then we're going to customize it to make it look like what we want it to look like all right we are now on the MailChimp website and the address is MailChimp.com. I really like MailChimp.com because, uh, well, they provide a great service. I'm not a spokesperson for them, but I have used both MailChimp and I have used Constant Contact. Both do a great job. They allow you for, like, you know, I think it's like 10 15 $20. Uh, you can send up to, like, 5,000 emails a month to your clients and so forth. And they make the process really easy to do that. But, you know, I, s I still don't use them. I use Outlook. I don't have that many clients to send emails to. And I usually send emails when I really need to inform somebody about that. I think inundating your customers with emails is sometimes negative e marketing as well. So as much as emailing is a great thing, it must be used and done in moderation. Um, but anyways, coming back to why I like MailChimp they provide a lot of free resources and one of the resources where I want you to start with is um, if you click on resources you see there's a free HTML email templates link. you click on that uh, you will see that they have some free email templates with these four basic designs and I think these pretty much cater to what ma the majority of people will be uh, designing for their email templates there's a basic one with no columns and then there's a pay postcard one with a big image area uh, and uh, then there's this uh, left with two columns. It's not necessarily the right line, but you have a column on the right, um, and uh, and that's it. And the one that I u mostly use, and the one that I'm going to use for this example, is the left uh, two column. Uh, so just click on download HTML email templates, save it. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Actually, I've already saved it, so I'm not going to save it. But let me show you that once you do save it, um, you do need to. Here it is you do need to right click on it and extract the files to a folder depending on what kind of unzip tool you have this is a compression tool I use WinRAR it's a free program you can use uh, you can find on the internet uh, just go to google.com and just type in WinRAR you can go to download and um, and you can download depending on which computer you have I think the first one is probably going to be the majority of users when you are 32-bit uh, if you have a 64-bit machine and 64-bit but anyways once you install, install this program and I'm pretty sure most of you already have this program it would allow you to unzip files which is essentially opening up compressed files so once you do it's going to create this little folder and inside the folder you will see the free templates and we are using this one which is um, let's look at it what does it say Come on, slow computer. 
it's an HTML email newsletter template A and if I double click on it you can see what it looks like jungle book nice little simple template with a column on your right uh, I'm sorry on your left and then your main area for your text of your email um, on the right side a little footer down here and a little header area and it's uh, sort of minimal you don't have too much stuff here and then uh, we can customize it and that's what we're going okay let's look at our process where are we right now we have an a HTML email template but it's not our template right now it's just a basic template that we can use and customize to make it our own so now we need to work in a web page editor or an HTML editor tool we can also simply use note pad that everybody has on their computer or WordPad um, that would require that you have some understanding of code uh, but right now just to show you guys I'm going to use Dreamweaver Dreamweaver is uh, from Adobe Adobe is part of the Adobe Creative Suite but it can also be purchased separately from Adobe it uh, used to be by a company called Macromedia uh, and, and again if you guys don't have any of these tools you will have notepad but if you want something that's better than notepad especially if you don't have an understanding of code uh, there are places where you can get free um, page editors code editors um, one of them um, I actually found us on about.com and they have got some free um, text editors uh, Komodo uh, edit um, there's Aptana Studios, NetBeans, and Coffee Cup Free HTML Editor. I've heard about the Coffee Cup uh, one. I'm not an Alley Code. This is one that I have used in the past, and it's very easy. But uh, anyway, so you guys can get some free text editors or HTML code editors uh, from the internet by searching for free HTML editors. And here's the t t the ten best free web web editors for Windows. Okay, so right now I'm inside Macromedia Dreamweaver and I will go ahead and open up the template that we have on our desktop and I think it was under HTML email templates free templates and it was HTML email newsletter template a and when we open it up we see it is exactly what we saw when we opened it up in the web browser uh, and that goes to uh, I think some I may have said this earlier that an email template is nothing more than simply a web page formatted to look like or a letter that has been formatted with some uh, more richer content images um, and layout uh, and so forth okay so now what you look in when you're in Dreamweaver and most other uh, WYSIWYG which uh, editors WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get editors they allow you to see the code that goes behind in creating a page look like this so I'm looking at a code area up here and below I am seeing the design view now I am working in Dreamweaver MX 2004 this, this is pretty old uh, but I'll tell you what this is as powerful a tool as any of the newer versions uh, the newer versions essentially dump dumb down a lot of processes they've made um, uh, they've added more tools and plugins that 